Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are back with some more NCAA 06. So, we are back on the recruiting trail. The season is over. We had a fairly good year, man. We were going to finish number four in the polls to wrap up the season. And we did beat Florida State to wrap up the uh, the season. Or the year, I should say. Florida State lost 34-21. to 21. Here goes a look at the other ball games, man. The Big Ten was in a lot of big-time ball games and that is always a good look for the conference. And I want to say that it's probably the conference. It got to be the conference. But this has been one of the funnest dynasties. Excuse me. One of the funnest dynasties that I've done. I think the original one with SAU. That one was a blast. Because I felt like, and we were ranked. We were ranked in the top four, top five, plenty of years. And we would get sent to the Emerald Bowl because we were not uh, affiliated with a conference but that was one of the funnest ones because that one went 12 years because we, were, we kept on searching and we kept on looking for that national championship and my other dynasties it's, it's, it felt like the national championship came sooner than in years past and then it just felt like we were going to keep on going and keep on going and keep on going it does not feel that way in this one and it could be the conference i really don't know but this game continues to amaze me so green is going to transfer he was like our second tight end a couple years back then he was third string last year uh, Ross, our right guard, is going to transfer. And our quarterback, Jordan Anderson, good for him because he, he knew that we were going to stick with Miller, so I'm glad that he actually transferred. And Neil Washington is going to go pro. Like I've already said in all my dynasties, I let these guys do what they got to do. You know what I'm saying? I, I viewed this. I viewed all my dynasties like Kentucky back when they had one and dones in their basketball program. That hey, if you feel like you need to go to a different school, you feel like you need to go pro, do what you need to do. I'm not going to try to talk you out of it. Now, our old line is going to look a lot different. So we're going after some big guys. This guard five star, linebacker five star, tackle five star, D tackle five star. Then we got a bunch of four stars that we are going after: a cornerback, a tackle, an athlete, a guard, a kicker, a cornerback, an athlete, another cornerback, another athlete, an old uh, outside linebacker, outside linebacker, D tackle, center, and then a quarterback who was not interested in, in us at all. We were kind of at the bottom of his list, but he's from Indiana. So I'm hoping I can get him to sign on the dotted line. Let's see what happened. And, of course, we had about five guys sign with us during the, uh, during the in-season process. So we got the guard. We got the linebacker. We got another guard, a receiver, a tackle, a D tackle, a cornerback. We're able to get another tackle. And then we got basically everybody else. And then, of course, the three-star quarterback we did get. This athlete is going to go to uh, Oregon State. But I'm totally excited about the quarterback. You can see the rankings at the far right. Three, uh, the, the number three middle linebacker, number three guard, uh, top 15 tackle, number six guard. Uh, so, yeah, O-line should bounce back fairly quickly. Obviously, these guys are going to need a season, a season to uh, uh, build up their strength, to work out and stuff like that to really blossom. But I feel good about this recruiting class. I think it's one of our best. And this quarterback, again, from Indiana, we sent the house at him a lot uh, because he really wasn't that interested in coming to us. As, as you see, we, that we have a four uh, number four ranked recruiting class. That is big time if you ask me. Uh, but yeah, he was not interested at coming to Indiana really at all. But we persuaded him. And I'm so happy that we were able to do that. Because he's a scrambler. He, it said that he ran like a 4-3, 4-3-5 uh, in his, uh, what would you call it? Your high school day, your college day. Can't call it a pro day, but, you know, with workouts and stuff like that. So I was pretty excited about that. Because Miller is more of a balanced quarterback. But I really want someone that can fly eventually in this program. Because I would love to run more of the option game. Because I've noticed that recruiting receivers has gotten uh, has gotten a little bit harder as we go on. So Miller, 88 overall as a true sophomore with 82 speed. Parham, I was surprised that he came back. So we have a lot of running backs. Cannon, who I was really excited for, 95 speed. He's a redshirt freshman. We have another guy who that we also recruited with uh, with Cannon, who's also a redshirt freshman. Those two running backs are faster than fast. Now, not as far fast as Parham. But freaking blazer. So they're going to be our kick returners. Uh, you're going to see that in a second. Left tackle's a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit. A little bit. Uh, you know what I mean? Not, Conception was a first team All-American best offensive lineman in the country. That's not my saying. That's the trophy that he won. Uh, but the right side of the O-line looks good. 
I can say that right guard last year might have been the weakest position. Now it's a strength. So, hey, crazy crazy how one year everything kind of flips on his head. D tackle looking good. Uh, we got Redshirt Jr. Yeah, he transferred last year. So I've registered him. He transferred last year. Forget what school he transferred from, but he was a transfer guy last year. So D tackle looking good. Uh, Tony Davis going to start for us at the outside spot. He shared some time with Robert Smith inside whenever we went four linebackers deep. Uh, Robert Jackson, you're not going to start. I do like you. 78 overall, 78 speed. You're a registered sophomore. But Moody. I feel like Moody can give us a little bit more. And yes, he's a red shirt sophomore as well. But 6'6, 230, 89 overall with 80 speed. He has to be in the strong lineup. Cornerbacks can run. Then we got Demps. He's a strong safety kind of with Dorch last year. He was a strong safety that played some corner for us. Dorch is going to come into the season as the starter. I was, just, I was shocked that a lot of these guys stayed for their senior year. I'm happy though. But this might be one of the older teams that we have had in program history and i mean ever since we started this dynasty um yeah so you're gonna see a kick returner parham i love you and you're probably gonna go for a heisman and he, he's only a junior I, I, i've been thinking that he's a senior i just feel like he's been with us for so long but he was only a sophomore last year but we're gonna go with our younger younger guys so tally he was the other guy 95 speed so yeah I'm loving it. Parham, you're not going to get any, um, yeah, any punt turn duty. To give that to Walker. We have a bunch of running backs. I want to try to keep all of them happy and satisfied. Uh, so Jackson, he will get registered. 89 speed. I'm loving that speed. He's going to get registered. Uh, Wilson, he's going to get registered. And then I'm going to come down here. This was the guy that we got in season. Uh, we're going to register him, 78 overall. We kind of don't spread the football out that much. Where we're going to have five receivers on the field. We're probably always going to have maybe four at the most. Most likely we're going to have a tight end in the formation at all time. Two left tackles are going to get registered there. These two guards will get these. I think two. I think I only did two. Yeah, these two guards are going to get registered. And then the center at the bottom, Johnson, you got to get registered. Like, come on, bro. You're only 72 overall. It's in your best interest. These guys are not, but these two D tackles are. Or because you're not going to see the field, even if we have a bunch of injuries. No, most likely not everybody in the mama going to get hurt at that position. And then Mullins, inside linebacker, he's going to be registered as well. And I believe I'm just going to register up Marks. He has 91 speed. He's, he looks good. He looks really good. I, I have to remember that Demps also plays corner for us. So, like, yeah, probably register you as well because Demps, he's a good, uh, strong safety. And he can play in that nickel for us. Uh, got Travis Smith, Dorch. He's a beast. Like our, our 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 safety room is absolutely stupid, man. So here goes the schedule. Got Texas, and then Arizona, and then we are at USC. Then we get a bye. Then we start Big Ten play. We went to Wisconsin, Illinois, Iowa, Ohio State, Michigan State, Minnesota, Michigan, and Purdue. No Penn State on the schedule this year. No Northwestern on the schedule as well. Penn State has had a down like this a down <laughs> decade. As soon as we started this dynasty, they they have been struggling. To find recruits, and I guess it's because like we, we like Ohio, Ohio is like just a melting pot for recruits in this game. A lot of the guys that we have are from Ohio, some of them from Illinois, some of them from Texas, but the in Michigan and and I want to yeah Michigan, Illinois, those like the other schools, other states I should say, but Ohio has just talent after talent. So I'm guessing Penn State probably recruits fairly well in Ohio. Um, but not not with us being the top team, because I'm guessing that we kind of just took Penn State's Penn State spot. But Purdue has been doing fairly well. They're a top 10 team this year. Wisconsin top 12. Uh, so we are ranked number three. It should be a fabulous year for us. The goal, Big Ten title, and of course, get a chance at that national championship team, a uh, championship game, I should say. But yeah, Big Ten title is our goal. That's why I'm not afraid to put guys on our schedule. We are only putting three teams. We could put four, but the rest of the rest of the Big Ten only plays 11 games. So I figured let's keep it, let's keep it even. We'll play just 11 games as well because Alabama was going to be our last opponent every single year. But I was like, no, let's just. If I want to play Alabama, I got to put them in the top three games or whatever. But anyways, that's going to do it. That is that. Recruiting class was good. Next year's recruiting class is going to be even better. And Nick Saban, I don't pay none of my athletes. Anyways, though, that is going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. And until we meet again, my friends, peace, love, hot sauce.